Hello everyone! How have you been? Thank you for your attendance today. I hope the IFDA webinar will have a good time. Today I want to talk about the theme of new normal design and smart society for the future. And let me introduce a little about myself. I write articles on design topics and occasionally papers. I would like to share what I found out for articles about SDGs. I will be introducing eight topics about sustainable effort in Japan. Topics 1. Tutumu Exhibition and Luxury Acrylic Wash Panels. Topic 2. Lockdown Furniture Drag One. Topic 3. Development of material made of bamboo. Topic 4. Green Biz is a recycled material. Topic 5. New Age More Bubble House and Town. Topic 6. Next Generation Water Infrastructure. Topic 7. Society 5.0. Topic 8. Experimental City Urban City. And four of the topics are on my own design project. I am most interested in topics number 6, next generation water infrastructure. In the near future, there is a concern about water storage in the world. I believe that water can be the solution. Which topics interest you in the most? w a r a p of One, the Expo Osaka Kansai 2025. I believe that we can find a clue to the future at the Osaka Expo. w a r a p up to about the future. Finally, I think I would like to share my opinion about the future. Introduction 1 This is a recent message card from my design firm. The green benches in the hotel are wrought iron furniture pieces that I designed. I'm planning to release this bench collection this year. Thank you for the opportunity to give my presentation. The perspective drawing on the right is a proposal for a future transportation station in Arashiyama, Kyoto. It's a street car station now, but I envision it as a future station with automated cars. The perspective drawing on the left is an image of the city of Osaka 20 years from now. Skyscrapers have been erected and buildings are floating. Maybe. Every day, I am fantasizing with my students about the future of the city. As Yasu said, I am a member of Japan Capture of IFDA and a board member of JID. By profession, an architect, interior designer, and teacher at a design school. I do the work of thinking and providing the value of space. I'm especially good at thinking about the future space. Also, I am researching the development of material made of bamboo from neglected forest and fallen wood chips at Indian Laboratory at Kokushikan University. Thank you to Yasue, Maureen Klein, and Rose Gilbert for featuring recycled bamboo. In the winter 2020 IFDA's network newsletters, which you can find it. I picked eight topics of sustainable effort I am seeing in Japan and elsewhere, and as mentioned, I am very familiar with four of these things I worked on four of the projects personally. I believe these topics will provide clues to the future. All the topics introduced this time can be searched on the internet. If you are interested, please have a look there. Also, go to YouTube and search for Koji Sakai, and you can view many of my videos. The case study and topics in Japan. Number one Japan has many sustainable products and materials since ancient time. For example, wash paper, tatami, and bamboo. Ecoculture has taken root in Japan since ancient times. We have been thinking about the sustainable society for a long, long time. Wash paper is a traditional Japanese paper. It has a history of about 1400 years. 
Japanese paper is made from plants called Kozo and Mitsumata. The photo on the left shows Kozo being dried. This drying process is done in cold weather. The next photo shows washi being made. What is washi? Washi have properties of being thin, durable, and long-lasting. It takes advantage of these properties for interior home decorating materials when used, for example, as shoji fusuma and wallpaper. Shoji is a translucent wax paper screen saving as a wall partition or sliding door. Fusuma is a framed and opaque papered sliding door used to partition of rooms in a Japanese house. Historically, Fusuma was painted, often with screens from nature such as mountains, forests, or animals. I found a video of wash paper being made. Wash is made by hand, with care and attention. It is an image of the Mino Wash. Mino Wash has been registered with UNESCO. Please watch this video. の生き様が大切Case study and topics in Japan. Number one, Tutumu Exhibition. This logo was designed by Tomoko Kawao, a very famous calligrapher in Kyoto. The word Tutumu has many meanings. It means to hold something together. It means to wrap a present. It means to put one's heart and soul into something. It means to cover up. The act of tutsumu is deeply rooted in Japanese people. It is a form of communication that brings people together. 
We chose this as the title of our exhibition to split this world to the world. Many designers from Italy, Spain, and Japan participated in this event. Many luxury goods and fine works were born. This is an exhibition called Tutumu Exhibition, which is a collection of worship works. I held this event in Milano Salone for five years with a group of designers and creators. This photo is the second Tutumu Exhibition. We rented the second floor of a cafe and used it as an exhibition space. Don't you feel that just by changing the way you use the washi, you can expand it to the possibility of washi? This special presentation had a strong impact in Milan. I feel that traditional Japanese techniques such as washi can be a resource for the future. Outcome The event triggered the sales of Japanese paper in Milan. And after this event, the sponsor companies announced innovate new wash. Luxury acrylic wash panel. About the innovative new wash born from the Tsutsumu exhibition. This innovation new wash was co developed and completed with a French acrylic company. So they have completed an acrylic wash panel. That blends traditional beauty with innovation. This panel is stronger and more durable than glass and has a unique texture. These panels are perfect for creating a luxurious space. In addition, these panels are an excellent material to use for coronavirus protection. For example, as movable partition and interior shield. It seems that the number of inquiries is increasing now. Wash panels are a new normal material. The case study and topics in Japan Number 2 Dorakuan is knocked down furniture with sustainable materials. I made a lot of box using scraps. This is a tea room made of scraps. This tea room had appeared on Japanese and Italian television. Please watch these video clips. は私がいるこちら。なんと移動もできる組み立て式のチャイスナンです。あ、いい香りがしますね。和室の。そうですね。茶室の名前はドラクアン。畳に条文の広さです。壁には<笑><笑><笑><笑> 組み立てや解体には1時間大学に出前をして使い勝手や見た目はどうか作動部の学生に見てもらいました。綺麗。これ家に欲しい。小さな茶室に戸惑いながらも学生には好評でした。Siamo qui con Gianluca Gobetto di fronte a un'installazione eh, giapponese, la sala del tè. Vuoi dirci qualcosa? Sì, eh, beh, la, re, la resina ha una logica industriale, quindi dopo aver un, avuto un grande successo negli anni con eh, pavimenti industriali, approda nel settore civile residenziale e, e quindi anche nel design. Quando Sakai, questo architetto giapponese con cui abbiamo fatto tantissimi lavori a Tokyo, Osaka, eh, ci ha chiamato e ci ha proposto questa idea, noi ci siamo innamorati subito perché è un cubo 2 metri per 2 modulare, e i moduli sono rivestiti in resina, sono materiali assolutamente naturali e eh, si monta in due ore e 
Ci siamo appassionati di questo progetto, rievoca eh, la cerimonia tradizionale giapponese. Eh, ci vuole che già eh, lavorato insieme? Eh, Nihon de Italia. con la materia del covetto. Di quali progetti? This is designed with the hint of a traditional Japanese tea ceremony house. You can select your favorite variation. For example, it is possible to create partitions and small spaces. The Dorakan was invited to a competition at the Asian Museum of Art in Germany. In Berlin, there is a royal place called Humboldt Hora. This royal place has been turned into an art museum. A competition was held for the design of a tea house to be installed in the place. Ten architects are selected to participate in the competition. This is an image of the tea house from the plan I submit to the competition. Dorakuan can create a modern Japanese space by combining traditional Japanese tatami mat, Japanese paper and bamboo. The material of this wall is called igusa board. Igusa is a material used for the surface of tatami mat. This board is made of igusa scraps. Igusa board was born from an innovative idea. Igusa board has a nice scent, and Igusa has a bactericidal and antibacterial effect. Igusa is made from plant, and it is a sustainable material. This is a red version that uses only the flame. Everyone is drawn to the red flame and gathers around. This is Japanese style and comfortable space. Would you like to have a cup of tea in this tea house? From this tea house, you can see the sky, which you always see, but now it seems better than usual. Case study and topics in Japan. Number 3. Development of materials made of bamboo from neglected forest and fallen wood chips. This project was started in response to a request from the park of Kyuhoji Ryokuchi. This project was designed to make use of fallen wood and bamboo scraps. Here I am presenting installation works with landscape designers. We also used trees and bamboo to make social design proposals in various places. We did a bamboo installation in Super Studio Milano, Milano Salone 2019. Our exhibition space was a very very small booth, however many people liked this installation. In response, we started the project aiming to commercialize these works. Now we are developing new materials made of bamboo from neglected forest and warren wood chips. This year we are planning a new project for an installation in Shanghai. I was invited to attend the Shanghai Flora Expo, scheduled for May 2021. My firm planned to make a presentation on furniture made of these new bamboo and wood chips materials. But I don't know if I can make it to Shanghai. I hope the coronavirus infection will subside so I can go. This is an image video of the installation. This installation is inspired by a Japanese garden. The case study and topics in Japan Number 4. Green bees is recycled material that can grow plants without using soil. Green bees is a ceramic tile that can retain water. This ceramic form will not spill water even when turned sideways. It has been adopted for rooftop greening and it is used for exterior walls. See for yourself. At the end of last year, the main venue for the Tokyo Olympics was completed. It was designed by Kengo Kuma, one of Japanese leading architects. 
It is a forest stem that incorporates trees. The eaves are made of recycled material green bees, a product from the Komatsu Materi Corporation that can grow plants without using soil. Green bees are ceramic made from sludge. This is a ceramic made of from plankton carcasses. This building is highly anticipated as a safe and environmentally friendly place. I found the image movie on YouTube. The building is a hybrid structure of wood and steel and was designed to resemble the roof of a five-story pagoda. A lot of garden was used for the audience seat to resemble a forest. Please watch this video. After the corona disaster, it is predicted that the concentration of population will accelerate in Tokyo in the future. Many projects are underway in Tokyo now, but I expect the city to be shaped with a new approach rather than a building concentric approach. The Toranomon Akasaka project is designed by American famous architect Caesar Perry. This building is 300 meters above the ground. Public space will be designed by Thomas Heatherwick from England. The case study and topics in Japan Number 5 Mobile House and Town for New Age Migration to the countryside has become a hot topic in the wake of coronavirus infection. This video is a town proposal by a temporary mini house after Tohoku earthquake 311. Please watch this video. Japan is a country with many natural disasters. For example, Great Kansai earthquake, the Kumamoto earthquake, etc. I have published many post-disaster town proposals with designers and students. This is a proposal of a community space with movable containers and mini houses. While permanent build homes continue to grow, mobile homes are gaining attention in regional cities, especially near the coastlines and mountains. As the life of stay home continues, local cities and mobile homes are attaching attention. 
There are many lush green areas in Japanese regional cities. I'm working with students to propose mini offices and mini houses in these places. The case study and topics in Japan. Number 6. Water recycle. In the near future, there is a concern about water storage in the world. This is a groundbreaking idea. This is called Water Box. Venture company Water has developed the Water Box, an AI based fistration system, hand washing, and shower kit. Watch the video here. Water. It's what keeps us alive. Our ancestors were born in the rainforest. Our civilization developed around the great rivers. We drew water from the river. We dug wells and built villages where water sources were found. Our evolution depended on securing water. But today, we're running out of it. Water is a source of life. It also confines life to a fixed location. Until now. WODA Portable Water Purification System. What used to require a massive facility is now in a compact package. It enables each of us to recycle used water. Not just once or twice, but as often as we like. Now, with this off grid water purifying system, we can live just about anywhere. Free from all public infrastructure and water supplies. Free from worries of water shortage. That's where we're headed with WODA. With WODA, we have no limits. Maybe even go and live on another planet. Water makes us free. Water Box is a portable water reclamation plant. The water can be filtered and used many times. Water solves the water storage in shelters. It can prevent infection and save water. It's getting a lot of attention as an infrastructure that will transform the way we can create cities. This is a video of a temporary shower room being used in a disaster area. Please watch this video. Topics number 7 Society 50. This is a video from the Japanese government public relations department. This is new society in the history of humankind, the super smart society. A more convenient society is just around the corner. A wonderful video follows to illustrate this. See how a convenient society is just around the corner. Please watch this video. ここはちょっと未来の日本のとある町時間ぴったり IoT や AI 技術によって叶えられるソサエティ 5.0 の社会ですおはよう朝ごはん何にしようかなフージーはいかがですかいいねそろそろお出かけの時間ですよっばコロッケパンとミックスサンドいつものお店でお願い注文しておきます昨日から血圧が高いみたいですがあらそう
ばあちゃん行ってきます行ってらっしゃい Finally, topics number eight. In Japan, new urban development has begun for the future. The project Connected City was started by Toyota. Toyota is promoting the creation of a city that connects all of kinds of goods and services. As people live, experiments on social systems will be conducted in urban city. Urban city is a city where everything, including service, are connected. Please connect it to this video. The International Exposition, the Expo will be held in Japan. The Expo Osaka Kansai 2025 is called the People Living Lab, designing a future society for our lives. Architect Sosuke Fujimoto will be designing the entry venue. The basic design will be announced soon. This is an image movie. Please watch this video. What up, WAP1? 
The Expo Osaka Kansai 2025 The future looks like fun Please watch this video at your convenience I believe that we can find a clue for the future at the Osaka Expo What do you think? See more here The Expo 2025 Osaka Kansai Japan is already implementing a plan that the world is watching with anticipation. Now, as the world faces issues of global importance, the Expo will evolve into an experimental venue for a future society of co-creation that transcends borders and cultures. Ideas for achieving the SDGs will be generated through co-creation. This is the People's Living Lab. Wallop up to our leaves as well as the architecture and our interiors are undergoing a major revolution. I think that in the new era we will be asked how to design including how to work. But future life seems to be very fun. We are in a very difficult situation right now. However, I would like to talk more with you about the possibilities of design in the future. That's all for my speech. I'm looking forward to seeing you all. Let me again soon. Thank you very much for your cooperation. Please take good care of yourself. ありがとうございました。さよなら。バイバイ。This is the video message that Koji Sakai sent out at IFI World Interiors Day 2020. Last year Koji Sakai sent out a message to students who are doing stay home. This video is about Sakai's message to students of interior design. He talks about the fun of interior design to the students who are not well by the stay home. And he is talking about the fun of design to students of interior design in Japan. Sakai has said the following about work of design. The work of an interior designer is very interesting. For example, it is about stimulating, inspiring and providing value to the space. And the scope of work is very wide, he says. He then asks the student the following questions. What did you do during your stay at the home? Have you found any social networking sites that have inspired you during your time at the home? He gave the students 10 seconds to think and said his answer. I found a news item about a group of creators who are working on a new project for the next generation. They are sending out new messages all over the world. During your stay home, you will be able to find new designs on social networks. And, he says, I'm also sharing new design ideas on social media. He says it is also important for designers to share their ideas. He specializes in interior design, product design, and design consultancy. For example, shop design, traditional Japanese product design. He is also an expert in design thinking and UX design lectures. He presents three of his works in this message. Work 1. He was the project、Mrs. manager for an Italian fashion brand and was in charge of designing megastores in Asia. He worked with the Italian architect Piero Angelo on a number of megastores. He says that this job taught him a lot about the Italian way of design. His encounter with Italian design is still alive in his work. Work 2. This is an exhibition produced by him. Washi is a traditional Japanese material. However, washi is becoming less and less popular in Japan. In order to spread washi to the world, he held an exhibition in Italy. The name of the exhibition is Tutumo Exhibition. The exhibition was held in Milan at the time of the Salone del Mobile. The exhibition lasted for five years. The exhibition became very popular in Milan. A washi shop was also opened. A book about the 2-2-U exhibition was also published. The sponsoring company is using the exhibition as a springboard for its international activities. Work 3 He is an interior designer and a director of the Japan Interior Designers Association. He is always working to educate people about design. 
and he organizes talk events and exhibitions called Design Conference. For example, Design Talk Events, Furniture Exhibitions, Design Symposiums for Students. He says interior design is a very enjoyable job that involves thinking about the value of space and providing it. Why don't you all train your creativity and your imagination? I hope that many young interior designers will grow up. This was a message from Sakai. I'm looking forward to meeting all the students. Thank you very much. Take care of your health. Let's